but were not on the electronic waiting list. Most importantly, these veterans continue to be at risk of being forgotten or lost in the Phoenix Health uh, healthcare system's convoluted scheduling process. The Inspector General found that the VA reported, that the VA itself reported a sample of 226 veterans waited an average of 24 days. However, the Inspector General report, reviewed these reports and found that they actually waited on an average of 115 days for their first appointment. Um, the o, the re, uh, Inspector General report states they have identified instances of manipulation of VA data that distort the legitimacy of reported waiting times and they went on to say that they've received numerous allegations daily of mismanagement, inappropriate hiring decisions, sexual harassment, and bullying by mid and senior level managers at the Phoenix VA Health Center. It's very disturbing. I sent a letter a few, some days ago to Secretary Shinsiki and ask him about this entire issue, particularly this waiting list allegation. I received a response to him, which I would be glad to provide the media, that basically said that when the new leadership came on board, they initiated, they initiated consistent application of the VHA's use of electronic waiting lists. In other words, saying that basically everything was fine. We know that that, that letter that General Shinseki sent me was absolutely false. Um, and so, and the Inspector General report said that, that delaying medical care to veterans and manipulating records to hide those delays is, quote, systemic throughout the Department of Veterans Affairs. So therefore, today, I believe that this issue has reached a level that requires the Justice Department involvement. These allegations are not just uh, administrative problems. These are criminal problems. We need the FBI and the Department of Justice to be involved in this investigation. I also, with some reluctance, believe that it's given the lack of responsiveness of Secretary Sinsiki to numerous inquiry, inquiries from Senator Flake and me that it's time for Secretary Shinsiki to step down. And if Shin Secretary Shinsiki does not step down voluntarily, then I call on the President of the United States to relieve him of his duties, to fire him. Well, thank you. Senator McCain said uh, we've uh, been on this for a while, writing letters to, to General Shinsiki, asking him about these allegations. Um, the information that we've received back uh, does not comport uh, with the information in the IG's report today. Um, and I join Senator McCain in calling for uh, General Shinseki to resign. And if he does not resign, uh, for the President to ask for his resignation. Uh, and also uh, that the Department of Justice needs to be involved now. Uh, we have instances uh, in the, this report that came out today uh, where the information supplied to the VA headquarters uh, was not correct information. It was, uh, this was information in terms of wait times that they knew uh, was not correct. And uh, so you have to, I think, at this point, call for the Department of Justice to be involved and investigate as well. So uh, uh, I, I, there are a lot of good people at the VA who work very hard 